Hi, I'm Steve and I made a holder for my diamond sharpening plates. I thought I'd show you. Um, I got four of them, but um, some people just have three. I think that's medium, fine, extra fine, and extra, extra fine here, but a lot of people, you can get by with three, I think. Um, I didn't chisel out the uh, inside out of one piece of like plywood a lot of people do. I decided that I'm not, probably not that great at doing that. And, um, so I used just strips of um, thin plywood and glued them on top of a piece of plywood. And then I put a dado on the bottom with a little plywood strip so I can stick that in my leg vise on my workbench when I get that completed. And also I made one of them just a little too tight and I ended up trying to sand it with a little sanding block on the side, trying to make it the opening a little bigger. But in case one of them got stuck after I put the finish on, I put little holes here um, with little Forstner bits, and I can get a screwdriver up underneath that and pop that off if it gets too tight and I need to get that out. The other ones are, are loose though, so it turned out okay. I don't probably need them, but if I do, they're there. So let me show you a close up of that. So here it is. It's got little pieces on the sides and then three smaller pieces to divide them up and then a larger piece on the bottom and then top and the bottom. Um, I used a small Forstner bit to be able to get the screwdriver underneath the block if they get stuck in there to remove them and then a larger one to put a little um, area in here where I can get the screwdriver in. Um, I used a, ended up using a finish I read about on some of the woodworking um, blogs and stuff, but they used a combination of the uh, poly and the uh, boiled linseed oil, kind of a half and a half mix of it. I'm not sure I like it, but I thought I'd try it on here, which, because it doesn't really matter. It's not a fine piece of furniture or anything. And uh, I wanted to put a finish because you wet the, the diamond plates. And I figured that was going to get underneath and make a big mess and soak into the wood and just be horrible looking. So I thought I'd at least put some sort of finish on here. So that hopefully that wouldn't, that black gook, that the metal shavings won't soak into the wood. And the bottom's real simple with just a small dado and fit this piece in there to fit in the leg vise to clamp that down when I'm using it. This will fit right in, drop right in like that, and then when I sharpen, and that's in the leg vise, it's not going to move around, it'll be nice and easy, they'll all be in order of the uh, fineness of the grid or whatever. The thin plywood I glued on top around and in between the plates is just quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. If you uh, want any links to these products that I've used, the uh, diamond plates, they're in the description section down below. Well, thanks for watching. Please hit uh, like and subscribe if you liked it. I appreciate it. Thanks.